Hi, I'm Claire and these are my favorites for February 2016. Now I caught a bit of a bad cold at the beginning of the month so I spent a couple of weeks uh, not feeling great. I missed a couple days of work but apart from that I did have two weeks where I just didn't really feel up to doing much in the evening and I spent quite a bit of time in bed reading fan fiction and feeling sorry about myself. But when I wasn't doing that, I did have a few things that I really enjoyed in February. The first thing, as I'm sure you can tell by the uh, look of this video, is that I'm now the proud owner of two gigantic soft boxes. I'm really excited about these. I think the lighting that they create is really, really cool. You can see them a bit in my glasses, but you know, there's not much that you can do to avoid glare from uh, any kind of lighting when you have glasses and you try to make videos. So yes, I'm very, very happy about the soft boxes. They were a birthday present from John. Uh, my birthday was a while back, but I took a bit of time researching exactly what I needed from uh, lighting equipment so that I could, um, you know, be sure that I had the lighting that I wanted. I hope everybody enjoys the change as much as I do because I think it looks very nice indeed. My second thing for the month is a little bit more general and it's new podcasts. Now, I have been uh, a fan of podcasts for a while. I listen to a lot of them. I have quite a big subscription feed. But in the past month, I discovered a whole bunch of new podcasts podcasts that I really really enjoy and uh, absolutely subscribe to and I'm trying to listen to the entire backlog and all that kind of thing. There's at least five new podcasts that I'm now subscribed to so that takes a big part of the month in terms of my attention span and all that and uh, it kind of made me think when I was uh, preparing for this video that Actually, there's a lot of uh, podcasts that I that are an important part of my life, and so I was thinking that I might make a couple videos about the podcasts that I like in case you guys want to talk about podcasts as well. I know it's not specifically bookish, but a lot of my podcasts are either about writing or about reading uh, science fiction and fantasy specifically. I listen to a lot of stuff that has author interviews and things like that, and I also listen to a lot of podcasts that are kind of more general about fandom. So let me know in the comments below if that sounds like a thing you'd be interested in. I could talk about podcasts that are specifically related to science fiction, fantasy and books, but then I could also just do something a bit more general about my favorites or like what I have in my feed. I'm not decided yet, but it's definitely an idea that went into my little notebook of uh, future videos to make maybe. Next is something that I started watching because of a podcast that I started listening to in February and that is Making a Murderer. This is a Netflix true crime uh, documentary thing that investigates a case in America where a man was wrongfully convicted of a sexual assault and attempted rape and spent 18 years in prison and then after he was released he was arrested for and convicted for uh, the murder of a different person. And the documentary explores the question of whether the second conviction was a frame because uh, he was bringing a suit against the county that had wrongfully imprisoned him. It's kind of weird because it is a true story that really happened and is really happening and there is a person that is currently in prison and there is a woman that is currently still dead. It is really interesting because it goes really in depth into the issues of how things are investigated and prosecuted and uh, how um, historical cases can be looked at again with new technology all that kind of thing but at the same time when I'm watching it I'm kind of like uncomfortable because I have this I, it feels like the documentary makers are convinced that the man is innocent but at the same time they're not telling you that they're taking any specific bias to it but you know I mean it's not going to be something that makes for super comfortable viewing anyway given the subject matter but I'm definitely finding it thought-provoking and I can see why so many people are watching it. And my final favorite is a bit more personal and it is that I started working again on my novel in progress. I had a few uh, a few months that were quite bad in writing wise where I really felt discouraged and I really felt like uh, this was 
kind of something that I could never really achieve and there was too much to do and I didn't really know how to tackle it. It was so daunting and I could never, you know, really truly achieve it. So why bother kind of thing. Everyone I know who's gone through the process of writing a book has had that period of time where they absolutely hate it and they can't see the point and they don't want to work on it anymore. And even though I knew exactly what that feeling was and I knew that it was normal and that it would probably go away with time, it was horrible to uh, be in that situation where I just felt like it'll never amount to anything and I might as well give up because this is something that I've invested a lot of time and work in. Now I've finally gotten to a point where I'm thinking about the book again all of the time. So I've started work on it again. I'm doing the second draft at the moment. It's still very slow and slower than I would like, but it's nice to be going again. So these were a few of my favorite things in February 2016. I realize this is kind of a weird favorites video. They're not normally the kind of things that I would talk about. However, this has been a bit of a weird month for me. Apart from being ill, uh, I've been quite busy with various other um, real life things and so I haven't had a lot of time for um, bookish pursuits or anything like that, which is why there haven't been a lot of videos. But hopefully it should get a little bit easier from now on and I should have uh, more kind of normal things to talk about in my next month favorites video. Let me know in the comments below if you have any thoughts about making a murder or about podcasts in general. If you'd like to see more from me, you can check the sidebar right here for more videos. And if you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button for new videos from me every week. I've been Claire, thanks so much for watching and see you soon.